speech by giving you a little magic trick. Watch this. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, 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 tock. Ladies and gentlemen, do you realize that 15 seconds of your life just went by? And now with that pause, 20 seconds of your life is now gone out the window. Ta-da! Magic. Isn't it amazing how fast time flies and just keeps on ticking? <coughs> By show of hands, how many of you here have some kind of device on you that tells the time? <laughs> exactly. Perhaps you're wearing a watch. Or maybe you have an iPhone with a little clock on it. Or perhaps an iPod or an iPad. Or perhaps even the new <coughs> iClock. <laughs> The point is, we all have a device on us that tells the time, because time is so important to us. It's like the air we breathe. But it doesn't matter. Time keeps on ticking, and life goes by. It reminds me of that great movie from the 1980s, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Do you remember that movie? In that movie, Ferris did a funny thing about time. He said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, in today's speech, I'd like us all to stop for a moment and really think about this amazing thing called time and focus in on three important aspects. First off, time is precious. Secondly, what you do with your time really is all that matters. And then lastly, as we get toward the conclusion of the speech, I'm going to ask you to think about that little clock <coughs> that ticks in your heart and ask you, what are you going to do with your precious minutes left here on earth? So let's begin. Yes, time is precious. You can reach for it, you can try to grab it, but it's going to go right through your fingers. Like my dad would say to me when I was a kid about things in the past, he would say, Keith, let it go. What's done is done. It's water over the dam. Now we all know how precious time is as Toastmasters, that's why we time our speeches, right? <laughs> We've got our green, yellow, red lights. I want to share with you a personal story of how I learned how precious time is as a Toastmaster. Two times I've been before all of you in the Toastmaster competition. And I made it all the way to the finals. And when I was delivering my winning speech on stage in front of hundreds of people, I got caught up in time. Time ticked by me, and I got disqualified. I went over the time limit, four seconds one year. The whole next year, I go all the way back and disqualified by two little seconds. <laughs> Did I feel silly? I mean, what a weird way to go out. You shoot yourself in the foot. It reminds me of this funny quote by the famous boxer, Iron Mike Tyson. He said, yes, time flies. And where does it leave you? Old too soon? and smart too late. <laughs> that was me. Now let's think about time in another way. It's precious, right? Check out this. You can enjoy precious time with your friends at a birthday party. Spend beautiful precious time with your family at a reunion. And sometimes time is precious when it's just sharing a heartfelt moment with the one you love when time runs out and your loved ones pass on. So let's remember, time is precious. Now before we move on to the next point, here's just a quick little silly quote about time. According to Zoll's second law, how long is a minute? It depends on which side of the bathroom door you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, what you do with your time really is all that matters. Think about this. There's two big points of time in your life. The time when you're born and you come into this world, and then the time when you pass on and leave it. And it's in that space in between, which is known as the dash of your life, when everything you do really matters. Look at this picture. How powerful is this? Here lies you in the dash of your life. That's you right now. The famous composer Luis Berlioz said a very interesting thing about time relevant, relevant to this. He says, time is a great teacher, but unfortunately, it kills all the pupils. <laughs> 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 I 
Now let's look at time in another way. Time is really a great gift to all of us. We didn't earn time, right? You can't work harder and get more time. We're all given the same gift of 24 precious hours in a day. And we all know time can go by like that and it can be gone at any moment. So, when you think about your time being a gift, when you think about time being limited, you realize what you do with your time really is all that matters. And here's the catch. You all have free will. You can freely do whatever you want with your time. You can throw your time away, trash it, focus on me, me, me. Or you can think of your time and sharing with others, giving love, laughter, and joy. So remember, what you do with your time really is all that matters. Now before we go to the conclusion, just a silly quote about time. When the smartest man on the planet was asked, what is time all about? Mr. Albert Einstein says, the only reason for time is so that everything doesn't happen all at once. <laughs> <laughs> so in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to think about that little clock that ticks in your hearts. And ask yourself tonight, what are you going to do with your precious minutes left here on earth? As this song portrays that Andre Bocelli sings, at some point we know it will be our time to say goodbye. And as this hourglass shows, we all know our time is limited. So imagine this. Let's say someone were to give you a magic watch, and you're given one day left here on earth, 24 more hours to do whatever you want, unlimited money, unlimited resources, to be with whoever you want. What would you do? What would you choose? Think about this. Remember, time is precious. What you do with your time really is all that matters. And lastly, how you make the most of a little clock ticks your heart makes all the difference. This time keeps on ticking. <coughs>